America's housing crisis rolls on thanks to a combo of high interest rates and a lack of affordable homes on the market. Barely a third of all houses currently listed for sale nationwide come in under $350,000. News Nation business analyst and New York Post reporter Lydia Moynihan is with me right now. Okay, let's get over all that. That's boring. I want to talk about double decker plane seats where I might have somebody's feet <laughs> hanging in my face. Okay. I, di I didn't know we were gonna we were gonna go there. Just, just jump right the, into the, that because that looks yeah, bizarre. Okay. It, you know what? It does look a little odd, and this is why airlines are a little unclear about whether or not they're gonna adopt it. This is pretty amazing, though. It's a 23-year-old kid now who created this idea for a college project. He's over six foot, and he decided, I'm so over flying economy. I love travel, but there should be a way where I can travel and I can stretch my legs out. So that's why he came up with this concept. Now, I, I, I would like to try it because it's getting very mixed reviews. A lot of people are saying, yeah, I don't want somebody's butt in my face when I'm on an airplane. And yet if it's a long haul <laughs> flight and you can stretch your legs out and you're gonna be hopefully sleeping anyway, does it matter? I don't know. You seem very anti a double decker <laughs> plane. <laughs> I just think a lot of people have opinions about this one. Depends on how tall you are. Depends on how... Uh, I'm just going to leave it there. All right, Lydia, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.